In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite little delayed looping blitzes out of the nickel triple that can get you some really solid A-gap pressure against pretty much any look in Madden, specifically against the bunch meta offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better. Also, if you wanna make sure that you never miss one of those videos, hit that bell notification icon so that you can get notified whenever we release a new YouTube video. Now in this video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the nickel triple and I think that the nickel triple is very rapidly becoming my favorite defense in the game I think it might be just I think it is the best base defense it combines a lot of the two four five odd and the three three five wide and the beauty of this is you're in the Chicago playbook where you have three three five will three three five wide two four five odd and of course nickel triple so I've been merging these four packages together and having a ton of fun right now in Madden 22 so that being said let's jump into today's video this is a nickel triple defensive tip if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook there's a link in the description below you can get my full scheme from the nickel triple defense it's on sale for just 15 bucks and I guarantee you, you will start getting more stops and having a lot more fun in Madden once you get that ebook. So, again, that link is in the description. And today we're going over Nickel Triple Tampa 2. Okay, guys, so how we're going to set this up is relatively simple. We're going to show blitz, we're going to global blitz all of our linebackers straight down, just like this right here. And then from there, it's honestly up to you what you want to do on the back side of this so you can take this uh, defensive end on the right side and i actually like to take him and i'll put him in some type of zone or coverage assignment so it could be a hard flat curl flat vertical hook, whatever you want to do and then from there i like to take this uh this uh slot cornerback and again uh, i'll put him in an assignment as well and kind of create maybe a cover three look or whatever as you can see right here your user is going to be the safety. You're going to stand right here. You're going to hold left trigger. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice is we're going to create a nice little A-gap swap off. Um, you're either going to get defensive tackle A-gap pressure or you're going to get edge or, uh, or you're going to get that looping pressure with Isaiah Simmons. So again, the setup is show blitz, global blitz, and then just zone the defensive end on the, on the opposite side, just like that. And at the snap of the ball, as you can see, you're typically going to get these swap offs. If they if they do what you're seeing, where they go to the the middle linebacker, then as you see, we're going to get a swap off exchange with that backside uh, or with that nose tackle. So you can stand kind of right here. It sometimes does help the pressure a little bit. So as you see right here, there's the looping a gap that I was talking about, and this really, to a degree, kind of turns into Mike Will uh, or uh, LB Cross three from the two four five that I really like. Like. Um, and the beauty of this is you can kind of double Mabel out of this concept. Uh, but again, I'll show you one more time here. As you can see, we're going to send this pressure. If you want to contain, you'll see here that you can certainly do the contain. The problem is it changes the blitz angle of Isaiah Simmons. And so instead of an A gap, now you're getting kind of a gap pressure that really isn't that effective. So again, you can do this out of any play too. It doesn't have to be cover two. So if you want to do this out of... Um, out of you know nickel whatever you can do this out of anything um you can do this out of cover three it does not matter here i made a little bit of a mental mistake you don't want to you want to show blitz before you um before you blitz your linebackers otherwise that right there will happen but again you're just going to stand right here and as you see that looping pressure that time we got picked up so let me show it to you one more time and then we'll go over some adjustments that you can make uh out of this concept so again show blitz global blitz and then you're just going to zone this guy on the left. You can stand far back, too. You don't have to be all the way up in the gap. As you can see, the pressure is going to work regardless. So that's our looping A-gap pressure. Again, show blitz, global blitz, zone this guy off. You could be used running back in here. And as you see, the pressure is going to create these nice little swap-off exchange type of rushes. Now, that being said, I want to go over an additional adjustment that you can make that will make this blitz absolutely incredible against the gun bunch meta. It's going to be utilizing a lot of the same concepts, but we're going to do a couple of things a little bit differently. So we're going to show blitz, we're going to global blitz, but then what we're going to do is we're going to man up this guy right here onto Banjo. We're going to man him up onto the back, 
and then we're going to blitz Thompson. And what you're going to see now is we're going to create some edge concept to go with our looper. So you see there, you still get the looping pressure coming through, but now you have a pretty good chance of being able to get this a get or this edge pressure from the safety. So we basically are going to man up on this bunch side just like this. And then as you see, we've got this this setup right here and I'm just going to be standing you can stand kind of back in here wherever you want to go and as you see, now you're looping around the edge to go alongside of your a gap pressure so this is one of my favorite blitzes for several different reasons i absolutely love this defense i think this is one of the best blitzes in the entire game uh, let me show you one other thing with this so you'll see here um, if he does if you want to contain you seem to move this guy in just a little bit like right into that area and what you'll see is you'll get these contains that'll be really good for your a gap looping uh, pressure as well but again, the basic blitz that I want to go over today is show blitz, global blitz, and then you're just going to zone off the left side backer, okay? So as you, or the right side backer. So as you see there, we're going to zone him off. And as you see, you get Isaiah Simmons coming through the A gap. Now, the cool part is you can use the same concept and essentially blitz this or drop the backside. So if you want to drop this linebacker on the left, then you can easily just drop that linebacker on the left. And as you'll see, the blitz is not nowhere near as good, but it is still fairly decent. But I will show you the one thing that I would recommend in is if you're going to drop a linebacker on the backside, in my opinion, you want to make sure at that point to contain. So you'll get this angle right here, which will keep that A gap angle. But now you've got this really glitchy contain and you're going to get these really unique sheds and A gap pressures. So this is a concept that you could run really in both directions out of the nickel triple. You can run this off of the, the backside and then you can also run this on the play side and you're going to get these nice little looping disengages that I really really enjoy now again guys the nickel triple is the best defense in the game in my personal opinion it cre it's got so many different types of pressures that i think you guys are going to absolutely love so if you want to learn my entire nickel triple defense there's a link in the description below you can get that entire defense for just 15 dollars. again the setup for this uh for this blitz is to show blitz global blitz drop the, the the right side guy into coverage you're going to stand kind of like this and then you're just going to basically open the gap up and as you see isaiah simmons is going to get a gap pressure you're only sending five people really really good pressure in my personal opinion thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook again there's a link in the description of this video and you can get the defense for just 15 bucks